my wife went through, because my mom had passed away, so we had boxes of photos and photo albums that my stepdad gave to us. My wife went through them all. She had never seen what my Uncle Joe looked like. She didn't know who he, what he, who he was. or Well, she knew who he was, but she didn't know what he looked like. So I come home from deployment. She had five photos out that she had gone through, boxes of photos and photo albums. She's like, is this your Uncle Joe? And it was him. She was able to spot out him in all these photos because he was like at like parties of mine, like my graduation and stuff like that. And she just sensed almost like an evilness. And even in some of the photos, it's not like it was just one picture of him. It would be like a group of people, like maybe, you know, me, my dad, and then he was like standing off over here. And she was like, is that your Uncle Joe? And I, I mean, I was amazed at that. Um, so we kind of had a ceremony. We have a little fire pit and we went out and burned them one night, her and the kids and I, and um, that was closure to a certain degree, yeah. seeing those burn up and um, not have to at least physically see his face anymore. I mean, I still can see him, um, but it has less of an effect on me. Um, whereas before, um, I could sense him, I could smell him, I could hear him, and it would just, you know, going back to like being intimate or close, to, I could just feel all that, and it would just make me want to be left alone. Um, and then that would obviously hurt my wife because she, and then because I was in denial, she would ask me like, is it bothering you? And I would say, no, it's not. Well, it was, but I'm saying, no, it's not. So now she's wondering, well, if it's not that, then it must be me. Um, so we, we were just in a bad cycle of that. But I just was unwilling to admit that it was affecting me. Um, uh, when it very clearly was.